No matter how old you are, you feel very humbled by people coming up to you to talk about their mental health because it's soul searching for them. began in Ibiza in 87 was really when I sort of kind of made the decision that that was the kind of path I took. I started promoting late 87, early 88, um, started running various different clubs. Then I always wanted to be in a band but never really thought I had any talent, still not sure I've got any now. <laughs> you know, I was watching the bands like the Mondays and things like that, even though my favourite bands growing up like Specials and The Clash and things like that, it was once the Mondays came along and they just kind of thought they were very working class lads. If they can do it then I'm going to start a band and we did and because we were club promoters we never had to play small venues and work our way up through pubs we could actually put ourselves on and play to 800 people straight away I mean we weren't very good that's basically where it sort of started so yeah I guess that was like nearly 35 years ago so many artists suffer from you know, mental health issues with the highs and the lows and the touring and the late nights and the generally the lifestyle, the sex, drugs and rock and roll. Witnessed it first hand. Obviously suicide is another massive problem in our industry. So certainly after the Keith Flint incident, it, you know, last year, certainly during this time now when we're in a pandemic, it was like, you know, the isolation and the, just the not knowing what the future really is. And it just really hit home to me that if I can be affected, that, you know, that I know for well that, you know, so many people are affected and affected badly that you know I just want to do something I could to help something I understood which is music which I understand the joy of music it made perfect sense and uh, I've been lucky enough to become a patron of the charity yeah here we are I mean I've just been talking to artists and friends and people on the phone and, and, and you can hear the desperation in their voice and the anxiety and the stress levels just changing. You know, so many people have lost their livelihoods, so many people don't know what the future lies from. And of course that's going to have a psychological effect on you. I think right at this moment in time, you know, the, the whole mental health issue is, is massive. <laughs> This today is for to help other people in the horse riding industry, which are in crisis, and the musician. I've recorded a dub version of Blue Monday, New Orleans Blue Monday, uh, with myself on vocals, because <laughs> I just thought that song just sort of, you know, it's so right for this charity, so i um, recorded that, I'm going to release a charity single. The Wing Walk for Tonic Music for Mental Health, trying to raise money for mental health um, programs. I've never done this before. It's the first time I've actually raised any money for charity, but I felt it was a really good cause. And just trying to support my friend Barry. He did it last year on his own. He's raised over £20,000 so far. I work in security for big jewellery brands, Cartier, Bulgari, transporting jewellery to and from photo shoots. Yesterday I was with Vogue Italia, today I'm um, in the middle of an airfield in Gloucestershire. That's wonderful, thank you so much Edwin. You're welcome. When I sort of went into myself earlier this year, I kind of found that I, for the first time ever, I was kind of paralysed in the mind. People always say you should reach out and you should speak out and let people know, but the problem is when you go into that state is you can't actually speak. You don't want to speak, you withdraw. So I think kind of really it's about looking out and, and seeing the signs and being aware of the signs. If people start reverting into themselves, then you need to start thinking about and having a look and making sure, just check on each other, make sure each other's all right. The problem is when you get into that space, you really, it's very, very hard to pull yourself out of it. And, and you can't always reach out. So I think it's up to everyone to look out. Everybody needs to feel good, you know, but you can't always feel good. 
you know, it's as simple as that, you know, for every up there is a down. Some people's downs are way further than others, so you've just got to be able to look out and look after each other. I got involved with Tonic about 18 months ago. In order to do this, we need to fundraise. That's why we've done today. The way I felt, if, you can, if I can help them not feel like that, then I know I've done a good job and that's, that's why I got involved. Today is raising money for the Tonic Rider. When all the artists go through an event, they have a rider list and they have a request. We are going to put a Tonic Rider in with their rider, give them calming techniques, advice on post-show blues because there's highs and lows. We aim to target all venues when they're back open, but it's, it's really important to try and support the artists and the music industry now, and that's what we want to do. Uh, I'm a mentor of today, Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you to everyone of you for being involved. Thank you. What is it? No, thank you, Barry. It's a oh. <laughs> Hello, my name's Jan and I'm a volunteer at the Tonic Music for Mental Health and I have been for several years now since it started nine years ago. It's Music through therapy. My name's Justin Rushmore. I used to run a record label called Finger Licking Records, which was pretty big in the noughties. Tonic Music, an amazing charity to bring awareness for mental health. Something that kind of resonated with me, really. I've lost a few friends to suicide. Just being out on the wing walk, it was literally amazing. We don't actually go in the green room because you're not actually supposed to do that. We don't invade their privacy. Somebody is always on hand to do that who organises it and they will do that specifically for us. Mental health really is a problem I and mean, it seems to be more prevalent with men for some reason. I think because we tend to not talk about our emotions. The events industry, I mean every festival has, you know, they always have a chosen charities and they have many charities and many fun fundraising events. Because there is no, there's no events, there's nothing, the, the funding source is just gone, it's, dr it's dried up and more than ever people need these charities, whether it's a mental health charity, whether it's a homeless charity, they just need funding and at the moment because of the economic situation it's just not there so for me to be able to come and do this today is, you know, mind-blowing. Today, um, to push the envelope even further, we are doing a full loop the loop and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, I can't lie. Now I'm a fully qualified member of the Flying Circus I'm going 360, baby. something that I hadn't done before, a bit of a thrill seeker and always need to keep pushing the envelope. So I decided I'd do a wing walk and that was just me last year. That went really well. For some reason I just thought, you know what, it'd be great to make it into an event. Invite some of my industry mates and, you know, friends that are in different bands to come along and see if we can uh, raise even more money. So we decided to form the Flying Circus and it seems we've pulled it off. Hey, how you doing? My name's Bess. I hope you're all well. Uh, what a great day supporting Sonic, which is a mental health charity. I'm lucky because I'm happily mental. <laughs> Within our own band, we, we've had uh, no, quite a few members who've uh, suffered mental health issues. So uh, it's uh, great to see that uh, no, there's some, some charity out there who've recognised the support that's needed within the industry. Like 
six uncertain futures for everybody. I gave you time, still stuck in my mind. Through a labyrinth of signs as the path intertwines. When they twist in a spine with the plots of a crime and felonies blind to the ones it can find. Threw away the design, started building from scratch. You put two or two together, but they're so hard to match. I want to show the face while the other turns the back. And some will turn to diamonds if they cut it exact. While the others fall to pieces in a pile of scraps. Yeah, I keep on moving, no time to dwell on that. I gave you time, still stuck in my mind Put the space in between us, had to draw the line You come around, it's like I'm walking on the ceiling And I can't find the... I've had an incredible experience to go on top of a play The dilute, dilute barrel rolls Felt like the eyeballs were actually going to shake out of the head at one point But yeah, great fun We've had a really upbeat day today. As mentioned, it's for an amazing cause. It is to raise awareness of mental health. So that's why I'm here. Support. So we've just watched Barry from Dub Pistols and Bez from Happy Mondays literally putting their life in their hands as they go upside down, inside out and round around, which is what a lot of people's minds are doing. It's about reaching out to people who you may know who are suffering just on the borders of depression or anxiety that could slip further into something more terrible. It's not a taboo, it's something which we all have to let greater and lesser degrees, half full rather than half empty. I've just uh, completed my first ever wing walk and I am absolutely buzzing about it. Yeah, I mean it's for an amazing charity, so all good. Strapping myself to the top of a plane and uh, getting flung around the air. No, pretty cool. Surprisingly relaxing, actually. Until you put your arms out and then you feel like you're going to get sort of pulled to pieces, but that, that sort of adds to the bus as well. I mean, I was very, very nervous working up to this, and uh, yeah, once now I've sort of completed it, I will actually immediately want to get back up there and do it again. So yeah, sign me up for next year. Sonic Music for Mental Health is an incredible cause. Mental health is something that's placed, you know, it's close to my heart. I personally sort of had issues with it, and as a lot of people I know who are very close to me, so. Um, you know, to do something like this and raise an amazing amount of money for everyone, then that, you know, what else can you do? What, what can you say? Been writing loads, yes. I'm doing stuff with Doghouse Derelicts, obviously, and that's all coming out really well. We're shooting a video in a couple of weeks, uh, getting a lot of tracks mastered, ready for release digitally. And yeah, just, you know, keeping ourselves busy. You know, keep creative. That's all you can do, keep your mind occupied. Almost £24,000 at the minute. But do keep sponsoring us. The links are still open, so, you know, it's not over yet. Let's try and smash 30 grand. Everyone that through life suffers lows and highs and when you're at one of these low points it's good to know there's a bit of support there for it. So I'm Sister Mary Lou and I've been kindly nominated by Oh My God It's a Church to come and be strapped to the top of a plane and be flown around the English countryside. As if 2020 wasn't bad enough without coronavirus. Now, I gotta get up there. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Anything to do with positive mental health is always close to our heart. I listen to the dub pistols because I do and the specials and I really enjoyed it. I was trying not to hold on, I was like, I'm too cute. Cool. And they ended up like fucking hell holding on for dear life at the back of the... <laughs> I joined the band in 1985. I died on one stage one night and they've, they've not got me off it since. <laughs> to live uh, such a great life, a great lifestyle. I have never would have had it without being involved in music and being involved in the band Happy Mondays. I've always loved music, buying records, going to gigs. It's always been a great part of my life and to be involved in it. It's special. As a kid, you, uh, you always dream of being a, like a pop star, a footballer, or anything like that, you know what I mean? But the, the reality was that I've, I, I, have, I haven't got really any musical talent, so to be able to get involved and be in, in a band for like over 35 years, like, like I say, I, I can't believe me luck, you know what I mean? Supporting New Order, some Channel 4 music TV show. And uh, I don't know if I'll say it on this, but uh, this me and Sean was completely right off our heads on acid. And uh, he felt like he needed uh, no, no moral support. And he asked me to go on stage with him because he, don't, he didn't feel like he could do it. So that was me, like, the defining moment of the career. <laughs> so uh, 
I was telling him to fuck off for a first, there's no way of going on stage. I ended up jumping up, up grabbed a pair of maracas, because that's the only thing I could say. I jumped up on stage and started shaking maracas and dancing like a madman. And the funny thing, next day some girl said to uh, Shaw, oh that was really nice of you, letting that kid on stage with you with special needs. <laughs> it was me on acid. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, a Scar Choir with over 50 members, funded by the Specials. Terry Hall being our patron for Tonic Music. Limbill, he's an ambassador. They've been absolutely marvellous, the Specials. They very kindly let us go on tour with them last year and it was a very humbling experience. And what a wonderful day today. We've had so many compliments. What a lovely bunch of people. And that is everything to us, absolutely everything. to the end of the day I think um, it's been an absolutely amazing time I think the uh, effort that everyone's put in um, has been incredible from like you know Alan Dennis who is absolutely terrified of flying doesn't even like looking out of a plane window when he's up in the air to, to you know to get him to come and stand on an aeroplane and do this is, is absolutely incredible Bez was absolutely fantastic everybody's been you know just been incredible um, yeah feeling a bit emotional you know it's been a year's worth of pulling it all together and getting everyone involved and um, yeah it's, it's amazing the weather's been absolutely fantastic for us so you know that makes it kind of special and it's just it's just great to see the smile on everybody's face when they come off it and the experience they've had you know it's like you know it makes it all worthwhile so we're going to be back next year and we're going to do a um, apparently going to do a full acrobatic display with a full stunt team so um, I'm looking forward to that that's next year's challenge um, right now I'm just going to enjoy the moment and uh, look forward to going down the pub and having a pint with everyone I think the most important thing is uh, don't be afraid to speak out you know what I mean and talk because uh, when you share your problems with other people it always lightens the load hopefully there's better times ahead